Today we're going to jump into creating tools and workpieces inside of your project. So if you open your project and you navigate towards the right hand side, you'll see two folders or templates. Uh, one is the object templates and the other one is application data. So we're going to focus on application templates. We're going to right click on the tools, say insert new tool, and then you'll be able to see this properties window and define the name of your tool. Today we're going to call it gripper. For some additional features like general information of the class template or comments that you can add. For now we're just going to worry about the load data. We're going to give it a value. Now it's important that you have some sort of model to make sure that these are correct and accurate for all of the inertia values and mass properties. Once you do that you can select your tool to be safety oriented which means that the safety system can monitor it as part of the structure. If you look now the gripper is actually yellow, which signifies it's under the safety system. We've now inserted a frame using right click and insert frame, and then we can name that frame things like tool center point, TCP. We can do some simple transformations based in flange coordinate system. If you need more information on that, select looking at the flange documentation that KUKA provides. Here we'll do a transformation of 50 millimeters in the Z direction, so that's going out of the robot's flange and we are going to create some sort of safety orientation frame for this TCP and as you can see it needs to be greater than 25 millimeters of a sphere or of a radius for the sphere for it to be monitored by all the KUKA Sunrise safety system. So now if we look at the safety configuration we can see that there is a gripper tool that is able to be added as something that you monitor for your safety system. 